I like coffee and I especially like to drink coffee in Italy. It is tasty in every gas station and so on, but that coffee preparation method in that mocha pot is kind of confusing. For me, that's definitely is not clear why they count that one mocha pot as nine cups. And what I am supposed to answer if someone is asking how many coffees I am drinking per day. Are those nine coffees in my cup or that is just one? Anyways. I'm done with morning writing and it's about time to wake up kids. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. No? It's about right time to get one more coffee. So it's sunrise, but it's not very early. It's about, <laughs> it's almost half past nine. So yeah, it's just Latvian winters and sun is rising about now and we'll be back down in about six hours, something like that. So, well, we have sun and it's getting a little bit brighter. Why do not walk dog a little bit and have a chat? Yeah, and coffee. Not the best one in the world, but good enough. So yeah, I'm on YouTube for about a few years already. I would say about two years I'm, for about two years I'm posting consistently and so on. And I have to say that is not easy, especially if you have full-time job, family and all that stuff. Luca, my dog is coming, yep. So yeah, YouTube was in o on its own, it's crazy enough, hard enough to handle and then I decided to jump on this vlogmas. <laughs> it makes everything even a little bit more harder. Oh, one more dog is coming. We have to move away because my Luca is a very friendly guy. He likes everyone except other dogs. He is getting to jump with any other dog in fight. Luca, we have to go to office. So, a fellow YouTuber, Elizabeth Phillips, invented me and a bunch of other YouTubers to start Vlogmas just a few days before Vlogmas started. And yeah, as you may see, I'm easy to overcommitment. So that's definitely, <laughs> there is no good reason for me to jump on this challenge to, and basically what is Vlogmas? Vlogmas is vlogging and posting every day. We are doing every second day, vlogging and posting YouTube videos on the YouTube every second day. Someone doing vlogs, someone doing just talking head videos, whatever is your cup of tea, but yeah. I'm posting videos for every second day and so far, let's say so, I'm surviving. That is fun and brutal in the same time. That is really hard because I'm out of work. But yeah, that is fun because I'm experimenting with different type of videos. For example, vlogs, I never really did kind of true vlogs. So yeah, my dog how to walk around. If you hear something that is rain outside and my dog who is walking around. I was in a few days in, in the tarl, all the vlogging. Basically a few days ago, Casey Neistat posted video. As he said, the most important video. Basically he's starting kind of video school, YouTube school, name it as you want, but that will be one month long kind of course. Basically you are doing two videos during that course. I took a look on that program, so that's interesting. Basically that is less about uh, YouTube or gear for YouTube videos or something like that. That is more about storytelling and that is really exciting for me to get into the brain of Casey Neistat. I would like to learn from Casey how to tell stories interesting, in an interesting way and also how to do that fast. Casey Neistat, of course everyone knows him, but Casey Neistat did daily vlogs for 
years. So basically, he definitely know how to do that. In his latest interviews, he's telling how it was hard for him, for his family and so on. That's kind of, I don't know, I'm not going to do that, but I would like to learn from him how he execute his ideas. Because for me personally, I have, I don't know, I didn't count uh, video ideas currently, but I have more than 50 video ideas in the backlog, definitely. So that means if I'm posting just weekly, that is one year of the content. So I should stop, <laughs> write down new YouTube videos uh, and start execute on them. Otherwise, it will be more than a year, two, three, five, whatever years of work. So I would like to learn from Casey how to execute faster on them and maybe be able to post maybe two videos per week. I don't know, we'll see. So on beginning, I was kind of on the fence about jumping on that course because I was thinking, ah, whatever. Everyone will kind of, there will be plenty of followers on this course and there will, and YouTube will be full with copycats of Casey Neistat after that. I'm already feeling guilty every time when I'm driving longboard or scooter or something like that in my videos, I'm feeling like copycat, but <laughs> I guess, but I guess that is not a big problem and I'm just overthinking that. And then I decided to try, give it a try because of that reason that I will be able to get into the brain of Casey Neistat to see how he is planning those videos and how he is executing on those. Yeah, and I would like to learn how to tell better stories. And maybe you can ask and think, uh, but uh, what's the point? How it is related to software development and all that stuff? Believe me. It is. If you think that presentation skills, storytelling skills are not important in software development, think once more. It is. It really is. For example, if you are working in products, that's really good that you can explain whatever your product is doing to stakeholders, customers, and so on. And even if you are only in development, presentation skills and communication is really, really important. And video is kind of new media, kind of even more popular than written word and if you can present well on video doesn't matter is that youtube video or just i don't know presentation video or just presentation that's that's really great if you are 10 out of 10 in technical skills but communicating on two people will not see you as a 10 people will see you as a two because of your presentation skills that's why i'm thinking that presentation is really really important so if you are sitting in the corner and thinking why you are not more successful, even if you are smarter than your boss, so maybe that's the reason. Maybe communication skills. Maybe you have to communicate better. And um, yeah, if you are not convinced yet that you should probably start YouTube channel, I have a video about that. Why should you start YouTube channel? And I understand YouTube channel may be over commitment, but anyways, you have to be at least on Twitter, maybe Instagram, something like that. Another video is why you have to be on social networks and why that is interesting. Yeah, take a look on them and see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.